Hey everybody, this is Javi, and you're watching the Bowtie Psychic here on YouTube. I'm a psychic, intuitive medium, and author. Uses divination and storytelling to help people overcome generational trauma. Welcome uh, to the page. I really appreciate your energy. Um, if you resonate with uh, the video that we are going to be um, doing today, or if you resonate with any other messages um, that uh, I am going to be giving today, by uh, all means, let me know in the comments. I really love uh, reading the comments. You can also like this video. You can also subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss another uh, segment. Um, in fact, today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading, so you will never miss another pick a card reading or a message if you subscribe to the channel. And, and hit that bell so you get all the notifications uh, whenever a, a new video comes through. Uh, also, if you would like a more in-depth reading, you can go to the bowtiepsychic.com website, bow, the bowtiepsychic.com website, um, and you will be able to get uh, uh, like all kinds of services. So you just pick one or pick a few, and then we'll go from there. Um, so welcome. I'm really glad that we're here today. Uh, one way I give a provide uh, I provide services is by giving general readings. And today I'm doing a pick a card um, segment today, and we are going to be focusing on what archetype you are. And for those who don't know what an archetype is, or like they're familiar with it, they're not quite. Basically, that's an archetype is the role we play and the, and the role um, that we present to the world, right? So there could be all, and we can be more than one. So there are people who are the, the provider, the joker, the child, or there are people who are the damsel, the thief, and the teacher. Um, there are people who are, um, you know, the, 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 the wizard or the wise one, um, so the black sheep, so on and so forth. There are a lot of us, um, depending on where we are, some of those archetypes switch, right? Um, and when we are, uh, Coming from a, um, or let's put it this way, if, if, if we are um, folks who have like a trauma history or whatnot, we use certain archetypes to either, um, to protect ourselves, right, um, from our abusers, or if we were the abuser, um, that is another archetype, that's another role we play in someone else's life. Basically, um, an archetype is a role that we, we have for ourselves and it's a role that we pre present to the world, okay? Um, so that's where we are. So with that being said, we have three piles here and all of them uh, will start with an archetype and the message for that archetype and, or, or that group that, that the archetype represents. So we have three cards here, which means that we have three no, three piles here, that which means that we have three groups, okay, um, that spirit has um, a message for. So just take a deep breath and then choose one of three. So you have group one, group two, group three. Again, take a deep breath. And without thinking too much, you can... Um, you pick one of three. One, two, and three. So, all right. So, when you, you know, when you pick a, a card or pick a, a pile, you'll be able to see it. And so, that being said, let's get started with group number one. Hey, everyone. So, here we are with group number one. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, so as far as the, the archetype, we have a couple here. So and remember, like they're not upside down either, or or they don't have a reversed meaning. So you don't have to worry about that, at least for the archetype. So basically, what we got here is the nun and the seeker. Okay, it's the nun, the monk, or the seeker. And so when I when I see this card, I'm getting this someone. Okay, so basically what I'm getting here um, for a couple of reasons, like the monk card of, of what I'm getting is that a lot of us are becoming more and more spiritual. A lot of us be, are becoming more enlightened. So the monk and the nun, like you're definitely being called um, to change some parts of yourself, change some parts of your life so you can become more spiritually elevated. I'm getting like this particular pile is based on the energy of it. 
is people who are uh, spiritual people who are on the fence, right? Spiritual people who are, um, on one hand, you know, knowing that they are a spiritual human being, knowing that they, this is what they want, this is what they were always working for. But then you're like part of the world somehow, like you're still like trying to, uh, to, to find your purpose. You're still trying to find your purpose. You're still trying to figure out who you are as a spiritual person. And so on one hand, like you are looking for, you know, you're elevated, you know, you have all these gifts that are coming up. So a lot of you are basically like in a position of, of of elevating so you may have some you may be an empath who is who's just now figuring out you know that they're an empath you are seeing things and smelling things or you're so you're becoming more um you know more uh, 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 uh what's it called a clairsentient excuse me a clairsentient where you can sense things or a clairaudient where you can hear things like there are many things that are come uh, are, that are happening right now as far as your elevation is as if something opened up and something broke up or like broke and you know open and so now what i'm getting from for for group number one is that there are a lot of you who are um who are elevating and waking up to your your powers right um, or you could be one of those folks who are who are um who are very uh, spiritually elevated but at the same time you, you're still a part of the world you're still in the 3d somehow and that's exactly what i'm getting for this card here because what i'm getting um from this is that yes there are a lot of people who are elevating but what i'm getting is that um a lot of a lot of us are trying to way too hard um to be something uh, and, and we're trying too hard to be perfect we're trying too hard um to you know uh, be the spiritual individual like what we believe is like uh, a spiritual individual someone who is of love and light all the time someone who is very positive all the time someone who is of of so so basically somebody who is often you know in the light all the time and you're burying a lot of your excuse me a lot of yourself as a result right so a lot of a lot of you are judging yourself and gaslighting yourself for not being perfect and there's a difference between being perfect and being problematic and what ends up happening is that um a lot of people are becoming um more and more problematic towards themselves and possibly towards other people even though your heart is in the right place because now you're getting all these spiritual gifts now you're getting all this spiritual awakening and you have an idea, uh, like in your mind, some unrealistic idea as to what um, spirituality looks like or a spiritual person looks like. And I'm just getting like, this is for light workers, uh, for um, those who are, you know, part of the New Age movement or was a part of the New Age movement. There's like this, this idea that certain, um, that light workers are the beat a, a certain way, and that's just not the case at all. Um, you also have the seeker right here, like. I really do believe that a lot of you, uh, because of your, your spiritual awakening, a lot of you are seeking out wisdom. You're seeking answers, right? You're seeking answers. You are wondering like, okay, so what do I do here with this, right? What do I do here with this power? What do I do here with this, this elevation? And so what ends up happening um, is that you are like looking, you're searching within the self. I'm getting like, you're not looking outside of yourself as much as you're looking within yourself a lot of you are like okay now um that all this stuff is going on in the world and i'm feeling all these feelings and i'm uh, i'm being told to raise up and step up you don't know you know as a light worker what do i do here what does this look like and so a lot of you are seeking out answers as to you know or looking within yourself to say okay what can i do how can i step up what can i do to step up for myself and other people how can i be um there for other people as well as you know make my uh, make myself available for myself make my, as far as like feeling my feelings and um feeling all my emotions and uh, basically like um being true to myself right so that's a, a where the seeker is coming from but it's just like, at the same time, it says here, like, inability to uh, comment to a path once found or commit to a path, like, um, 
what I'm getting is that when it comes to the path, like this is you like getting off your own path, getting off your own path, um, because it's hard. Like a lot of us are going to be doing some shadow work. A lot of us at this time, um, we're being told, a lot of light workers are being told and being pushed into doing their own shadow work and to do, uh, into doing in, um, their own um, inventory in regards to the self and how you really feel about the self. I know that I'm uh, <clears throat> being asked to do that as well. And it's hard at times because there's a lot of stuff that's coming up uh, emotionally. There's a lot of things in the past that are um, coming up. So there's a lot of us who are looking for some sort of way um, to make sense of what's going on, to step up and to be aware that a lot of us are, um, whether you uh, have been on this spiritual path um, for uh, for years or for a few days, um, a lot of us are um, coming to the conclusion that we're elevating, we're um, getting to the point where we are um, finding different gifts coming up. And so we're like, and, and we're wondering like, how can we use those gifts to better the world? Um, at the same time, we are not to be hard on ourselves if we don't have the answers right away. And this is the time for us to look within ourselves. So as far as what this is supposed to be like, um, what is this supposed to look like as far as the archetypes? I'm getting the five of, of, of wands. I'm getting that you're hard on yourself and you're hard on other people. And I'm also getting judgmentalism. There's a lot of you who are judging the 3D. You're judging the 3D. You're like, what the fuck is going on with these people? Why are they like this? Why are humans like this? I'm getting this from star seeds too. A lot of star seeds, myself included, are basically looking at the human race and saying like, fuck this shit, I'm out. A lot of y'all want to leave. Why are we, and you know what I mean? Like, why are you, you're asking like, why are human beings like this? Because a lot of you are working with alien energy or extraterrestrial energy. Uh, a lot of you are very much tapped into or discovering your um, your extraterrestrial ancestry. And so you're like, I want to go home. I'm going to get on this spaceship. Where's my spaceship? I don't want to be around this. And so a lot of you are um, being judgmental as well. As well. Um, and so you're being, uh, um, being asked by spirit to check that. Also, I'm getting, because of the reason being is that you're, um, that's this is actually one of the reasons why you're being asked to, um, look at yourself and because you have to ask yourself where those judgments are coming from because um what's happening is that it's taking you out out of your element it's taking you out of your light it's taking you uh, it's keeping you from looking at yourself when you're judging other people this harshly so you have to be patient with other people because you have to understand too that not everyone is awakened no not everyone is elevated not everyone wants to be elevated no one not everyone know, knows what that means okay and it means different things to different people so not everyone is going to be where you are you are not to be just so judgmental and i know what it's like it's really hard to not do that especially when you've done the work um and not everyone is on your level and that's okay okay um there's nothing wrong with that. I'm also getting an Ace of Swords. Um, I'm getting like some heart chakra stuff. Um, so a lot of you are like, I'm getting like really angry about some stuff. A lot of you are very angry, basically about what's going on. But this is more personal. The feeling is more personal. So there's a lot of y'all who are walking around hurt. There's a lot of you walking around with a lot of pain from the past. A lot of you are walking around and y'all have not released a lot of stuff in regards to your yourself, which is why you're being asked to, you know, do a lot of shadow work around the hurt because it's definitely coming up. And there's a lot of grief around that too. I'm just getting like, this is some personal stuff. Like somebody, this is around someone hurting you in the past and you not being uh, uh, over that or you have not overcome that. Um, so just be aware of, to honor your feelings um, and, and as a light worker, it's okay for you to be angry. It's okay for you to, um, it's okay for you to to be honest about that, um, and just and, and and just continue to talk about it and continue to be honest about your anger. Which is why you got this uh, this card right here. This is actually the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords upside down is, is saying like you are to release some anger. Whatever is going on, whatever happened in the past, you are to release it. Be honest. 
honor your feeling, honor that, um, honor that, um, that emotion, but also uh, be aware of, be, uh, be aware of where it's coming from and to also be honest with your, yourself about it because until you are, that hurt and that pain is going to follow you, which is why you're being asked to, to, to release that in some way, shape or form. I know for me, I'm releasing a lot of my stuff through writing. Writing is a, and storytelling, writing is a power, and story, writing and storytelling is a powerful tool because words cast spells and words have energy. And so when you're able to speak on your anger, um, to release that anger through your words, chances are it's not in you anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't have power anymore. And people can actually, depending on uh, who you're supposed to be um, serving as a light worker, um, when I, I'm, I'm just getting like, it will serve you, uh, like serve your highest good because there are people um, who relate to what you're saying and you're not alone, okay? So the, the Ace of Swords is about letting go of the anger and, and, and to not be so hard on yourself and not be judging of yourself. Don't judge yourself so harshly either just simply because you're not at a certain place. Um, I'm also getting, yeah, I'm just getting my star seeds of all ages, particularly like uh, in the um a 30 on right age range um just because like a lot of you you i'm just getting like a lot of and it's definitely like those who have been on the spiritual journey for quite some time um but have the tendency to be inconsistent with their practice so be this is the time for you to also be consistent with whatever um spiritual practice that you are um, doing as well. So what I'm getting here as far as the other cards, <clears throat> excuse me, is this is actually the, the six, I'm sorry, the seven of, of air. What I'm getting is that like a lot of y'all are dogmatic. A lot of you are to let go of the dogma. A lot of you are to be, you're very spiritually elevated or you're going to be coming spiritually elevated. But what I'm also getting from this particular card is that you are not to be dogmatic. You are not to be dogmatic when it comes to yourself and put a bunch of rules and regulations um, on your spirituality because what ends up happening is that if when you put yourself on such a high unrealistic, and for what is just unrealistic, but when you put yourself on that high standard, you expect everyone else to be on a high standard. So this is actually a time for you to ask about um, your standards and literally sit down and actually truly examine your expectations, not even standards, but expectations. What expectations spiritually are you putting on yourself? Because when, you, when, when you're dogmatic and have all these rules and regulations for yourself, you're going to end up trying to do that on other people or push that on other folks. Or what ends up happening is that you end up beating yourself up and, and considering yourself um, a failure because you're not at a certain level yet, right? You're not at this level. Uh, you're not the spiritual person, you know, um, because you curse somebody out or, you know, um, you like to twerk, therefore, you know, you know, you don't think you are suitable or you, uh, or you, you, you're still harboring a lot of anger or you're not at a certain level of, of healing yet. Therefore, you, your story doesn't mean anything. Your spirituality doesn't mean anything. Therefore, you're not able to help anyone. That's the type of stuff that I'm getting from this card that a lot of you are holding yourself. You have so many high expectations and you're beating yourself up. Do you realize how, um, how powerful your words are? How powerful your story is? How, like, how you can help people you know, at this level? So think about it that way. Again, you're not being problematic. You're, you're imperfect, and that imperfection is what people are looking for. People are looking for a vulnerability and an authenticity. In 2020, in the year 2020, um, this is where you start to realize who's real and who isn't, and people are looking for rest of, not only reciprocity, but authenticity, right? And with everything happening with the, uh, with the, um, with the virus and um, and how people are reacting and responding to it. Um, be aware of your emotions. Be aware of your interactions. Be aware of how um, how you're answering the call of light workers coming up. You know, because just because you're a light worker doesn't mean you can't feel anything. 
Okay, I know it's easier said than done, but this is not the time for you to be dogmatic. Okay, this is not for you. This is not time for you to be dogmatic like this. You also have a perception card reversed that tells you right there that your perception is the change. Okay, this is the time for you to change your perceptions. You know, in regards to um, yourself, this virus, the perception of it, the reaction to it. You know, because this is testing you. Like this, this whole thing with. Um, the, with the coronavirus and, well, like I said, people's reaction to it, you're being tested, okay? You are being tested. Your your mindset's being tested. Your your emotions are being tested. Um, your whole reaction to things are, are, are is being tested. And this is actually for a, a good reason because now it's time for you to literally start thinking outside the box in regards to what you can do and how you can remain elevated and remain true to yourself at this time because things are not going to be normal. This is the new normal. What we're doing, what's happening right now in regards to not being able to touch people, not being able to uh, interact with people physically, not being able to possibly go to work, you know, and do our normal or what is considered our normal routine, that is going to change. And that, And with that being said, your perception and your outlook on life and your outlook on your spirituality is going to be changing. So just be aware of that. Um, it's okay for you to be kind of antsy. I know that I am. In fact, I feel all kinds of ways about this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, it's, you're also going to be challenged. Your perception of, 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 of control and movement and, um, and, interactions you know your perception of that that's going to change right it's going to change it's not going to be the same at all so this is a time for you to make that choice of how you're going you know in regards to how you're going to perceive all that's happening okay and and, and just know that it's your this is not the time the time to take things personal okay not to take this personal Okay, because a lot of things are going to be changing as the months go by. Um, and it's just hitting people hard, especially if they're introverted or extroverted. Or um, There's going to be a lot of things that are going to be coming up in regards to your mindset and how um, your perceptions are going to be changing based on the changing of your mindset. You're definitely going to be challenged, uh, group number one, so just be aware of that. Um, and also, like, Yeah, just yeah. I'm just that's what I'm getting. Like, be aware of the challenges, because and be and be aware of your temperament, um, because things are going to be changing, and you are going to be stepping up for yourself. So this whole pile is about you stepping up for yourself, and you're you growing and changing during these times, because this is something you're going to be doing by yourself. You're not going to be having a lot of support systems around you, you know, uh, outside of spirit and a few people that you may be friends with. Um, this is this is all you, right? This is going to be all you. This is going to be you becoming stronger and stepping up. No one else is going to be able to help you do that. Um, this is all on you now, okay, in regards to you stepping up, okay? So the word of encouragement here is the rainmaker. Make it rain is what I'm getting from the my Make it rain, make it rain, right? You are the master manifester. In, during this time, okay, you are going to be um, making these changes. All the life changes that you're happening, that that's happening around you, is because of you. You are making this possible, right? This is a time for you to um, use this time, use this time to what? Like, I'm just getting like to make some changes that are um, that are going to be happening anyhow. Like, there's no need for you to fight it. Those uh, those changes because they're inevitable, and I'm just I'm just getting make it rain, make it rain, like make allow those changes to come through, allow those changes to come through, and make and not exactly make you, um, but create the opportunities. Okay, create the opportunities is what I'm getting to become the person that you are meant to be. There is no there like fighting 
you know, the inevitable, the fighting, the inevitable changes are unnecessary and they're going to happen anyhow. I'm just getting that a lot of you star seeds, a lot of you people who are spiritually elevated or those who are, who have been on this um, journey for a long time, um, you're going to become more and more elevated. You're going to be changing over time. So a lot of the things that you used to do, they're going to be um, dropping and there's going to be replaced, they're going to be replaced by something new. I'm getting by the end of the year, um, the end of January. Um, at least, or the end of December, excuse me, there's going to be some sort of, some profound change. Like you are going to be at a place where you are who you're, who you're meant to be. Okay. I'm just getting a lot of butterflies. I'm seeing a lot of, it doesn't make, it does not surprise me that she has wings here. And a lot of you are going to be changing and evolving, right? So this is literally the time for you to just like, let it ride. Let it ride and make it rain. Okay, so there you have. I mean, that's it for um, group number one. If you resonate with that uh, in any way, shape, or form, by all means, tell me in the comments, and I'll and I'll definitely, you know, um, keep the conversation going. Okay, so again, thank you so much. And now, let's get ready for group number two. Hey everyone! So now here we are for uh, group number two. So, hold on. So, we have three um, archetypes here for group number two. So, what I got here uh, are the visionary, the child wounded, and the beggar. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what that's about. So, the visionary tells me, like it says here, uh, capacity to envision what's not yet conceivable to others, willingness to proclaim the vision without regard for personal gain. So, basically, what I'm doing is that a lot of us, a lot of y'all are channelers out here. A lot of you are channelers, a lot of you are visionaries, a lot of you are thinking about the future, right? You're thinking about the future and what the future has um, um, has in store for us. A lot of you know, a lot of you have stepped into your and stepped into your power. In fact, a lot of you are stepping into your power right now. A lot of you are using this opportunity to step into your grace and to uh, and to see like this vision of a better and brighter future. Um, a lot of you, what I'm getting from this that visionary card. Is the fact that you are just like you're, you've already accepted what's happening. You already accepted it, and you're like, and now you're finding the meaning of what's happening, right? I read this beautiful article about the stages of grief. A lot of you are allowing yourself the stages of grief, and now um, you're at the point where you're like that. You you see what's going on. You don't like what's going on, but now you found the meaning to it. You know, you found the meaning of it, right? Or the meaning behind it. And a lot of you are saying, like, look, the visionary in you is saying, like, look, I see a better and a brighter future. I see people, you know, growing and evolving from this. I see a lot of love, compassion. I, I feel like um, a lot of you are um, group from group number two. A lot of you have so much love for the human race. A lot of you have so much love and so much compassion for the human race. And you're like, there is a better time um, coming for us, right? There is a better time. Um, what I'm getting, uh, what I'm getting though is that it says here, selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision. And what I'm getting, um, I'm not getting that you're like selling it to the highest bidder. What I am getting is that a lot of you are afraid of telling people what you are seeing, right? You know, like, you're seeing things that other people are not paying attention to and you're afraid to say anything. A lot of you are prophets, a lot of you have, a lot of you are way beyond the matrix. A lot of you are people who, you're just, you have a voice, you have a story and you're not, um, letting people know about it. You know, you see what's going on as far as how it's being reported as a distraction. You know that there is more to what the media is saying, more to what is happening in this world in regards to this virus, in regards to this reality. You know more, there's more behind the scenes than what you're saying or what, you, and what uh, other people are seeing. And so you're afraid to put that out there because you're afraid of judgment, okay? You know, like, 
you you know that there is a deeper meaning behind what's happening and you're just afraid of someone calling you crazy right you're afraid of someone saying like where do you where are you getting this from people are so like um, soaking up the news right now and soaking up all that's going on and you're like no there's more to this there's more to this the way it's being reported there's something going on here. okay you know that it's multi-layered i'm getting that a lot of you know group number two you you folks know that there's something is multi-layered and you're not losing your mind okay but you're like, if I say something, I am going to be judged or people are going to consider me a conspiracy theorist. And it's not like uh, y'all are so out and deep into the woo-woo that all of a sudden you don't, you're not, you're just saying some shit that don't make any sense. That's not what you're, that's not what you're going for at all. A lot of what you're saying is making a lot of sense. It's coming from a logical place, but a lot of people are like, they're not paying attention. Okay, I, you're very aware, because I'm just getting like a lot of people are out here are conspiracy theorists. And you may, and they may, they may very well be part of the woo-woo. But for group number two, and I'm talking about be a part of the woo-woo, that, like, they're just off the deep end, just like telling you not to, you know, vaccine your kids and all that other stuff. I'm like, no, that's not what I'm getting from this group. What I'm getting is that I will admit that a lot of you visionaries are to be careful because you're susceptible to conspiracy theories. Okay, you're susceptible to that. You're very much um, you. It can reach a peak if you're not careful. Okay, that's what I'm getting from spirit. That a lot of you from in group number two, a lot of you are uh, are peak, are like on the verge of being a conspiracy theory theory, and you have this information and. You don't want to get caught up in, in just believing in anything. So I'm beginning, I'm getting from spirit to be careful. You also got the child wounded. And that actually talks about a lot of you are doing your inner child work. A lot of you are um, very much into serving other kids, right? Serving other children or people who are just like you, right? I'm getting that you are meant to work with other children. You're meant to work with other people. Um, who have gone through some sort of childhood trauma. You're meant to do that. Um, you're also working through your own stuff. Okay. You're also working through your own stuff in regards to the wounded child because a lot of the reasons why... Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that hit. What's that about spirit? Y'all stressing yourself out. I can feel it in my whole chest. You are so, like, you have so much information. Y'all are stressed the hell out. You're so consumed, concerned and consumed with what people are saying about you. A lot of what, the one of the, okay, so here's the thing. One of the reasons why you got the visionary card and why y'all are so afraid to say something is because of some childhood stuff regarding what was said to you you understand like you were pro you were bullied and persecuted as a kid it could very well be some um some past life stuff but what i am getting is that this is like the, a lot of the wounded child stuff that's coming through is 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 um based is from bullying and there's a lot of anger around that and I'm not just talking about schoolyard kids. There's some childhood stuff that's going on too. Um, a lot of y'all have been abused. A lot of you have been neglected. A lot of you have been told that y'all were weird and strange. A lot of you have been told that um, no one cares about what you're talking about. Um, and what you're talking about is not their concern. So you, Chris, I'm just getting that a lot of people were brushed off, okay? And as a result of that, like you don't trust your own judgment. You know that what you're saying makes sense, but you're afraid that everyone else is going to make fun of you or talk about you because of that. You also fear that no one's listening. So that's another reason why you're afraid to step up. I'm also getting the beggar, okay? So what I'm getting is that, um, what I'm getting from this card is that you're begging for approval. You're begging for approval through your behavior. 
you're begging for approval um and you, and you compromise a lot of your your integrity because of it and so as a result is um you re like it's as if like you remain quiet you're just you're be you're you're you remain quiet you 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 have a hard time stay, staying in your power, let alone step into it. Like when you step into it, you have a hard time staying in it. So that's where the beggar card is coming from. Like Yeah, I'm just yeah, it's it's too yeah, you, know, you you have not you have a hard time like standing in your power and stepping in your power like when you enter a room, like you know I, a lot of you are observant know what's going on and what ends up happening is that you just don't say anything so i'm just getting like the visionary the like all of this is, uh, stems around there is some like wounded child energy throughout this entire thing like that is like really 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 like coming through um right now like a lot of you are just afraid of being talked about i mean i mean, just you, and like, I'm also getting this thing about acceptance. Like you want to be accepted, you know, for who you are. You want to be accepted, you know, for um, for who you are and what you do. You know, you want people to love your strange, right? Or love your weird, but um, you're and you're literally afraid of, of letting people in. Right, you're you're afraid of that because you're afraid that someone's going to talk about you. That's not the case at all. It's just that, uh, in, in fact, let me take that back. You're going to have people who are going to talk about you, but you are not to worry about that. Um, and you are to be do a lot of healing work, some inner child healing work, so that that um, what I uh, the inner child regression work, when you basically energetically go back to a place where you were um, confronted with hurt or you experienced hurt and basically like do some meditation around that and take your that inner child take that child that childlike version of you out of that situation because you can control and uh, that in the um you can control energy that way so just be aware of that like that you know you do not have to stand in where you are but basically where this is today you are to um heal that wounded child within you so you can be the visionary that you are like fully step into your visionary power okay so what i got here as far as that um a lot of you have don't have the confidence in your own words this is why you have the um the the king of wands upside down i'm just getting like you feel like um yeah i'm just getting like you're not stepping into your leadership you're not stepping into your your role as a leader. You're not like, and you're not acting on your role as a leader either because you have this. It wouldn't like you feel stuck. It would not be um, shocking at all if a lot of you isolated yourself from the world or isolated yourself from society because you feel like um, that people are going to come after you or make fun of you in some way, shape, or form, or make fun of what you have to say, right? Um, a lot of you are not as introverted as you make yourself out to be what i'm getting is that a lot of you are just not stepping into your role as a spiritual leader okay and i'm talking to people who are who have been told time and time again by spirit that they are teachers that they are spiritual teachers so this a lot of you in group and group two are spiritual teachers and you are being told time and time again to step into that role but you are afraid to because you are afraid of being persecuted okay you're afraid of being made fun of you're afraid of, of people saying that um you are um what am I? that you are strange I keep, and I'm also getting like, um, you're afraid of people calling you a hotel. You're afraid of people calling you all kinds of names. You're just afraid of, um, 
you're, you're just afraid of people like uh, literally like ostracizing from you or uh, ostracizing you or or ostracizing you from the from the groups or whatever you're a part of. You're afraid of that, right? Ten of Pentacles. This is about you um, finding a tribe, right? Finding a tribe and, and finding peace. Like a lot of you are finding that uh, that tribe. A lot of you are finding, uh, or at least looking for that tribe. Um, who is going to accept you for who you are, right? But what what it is that um, you are to accept yourself first, because by the end of the day, um, those people cannot go home with you. And regardless of how many people tell you how great you are, if you don't believe it, it's just you're going to be an empty pit for compliment, compliments, right? So what I'm getting from this card is that you're looking for someone, you're looking for a tribe, you're looking for people who are going to accept you for who you are, you're looking for a group, maybe like a, a spiritual group or an empathic group or some place where, you are, uh, uh, where you're around people who are like-minded. And so that's what you're looking for, but the thing is you are to be comfortable in your own skin regardless of whether you find your own tribe or not, okay? Um, because by the end of the day, no matter where you go, if you don't, if you don't, um, tend to that wounded child, that wounded child energy. If you don't heal from the negative messages you in the negative self-talk um, or regarding self-acceptance, um, nothing you do is going to work. Nothing you do, uh, uh, you know, as far as moving and being around people, you know, when you find your dream tribe, you know, you're always going to have it in the back of your mind that somebody's trying to fuck you up or someone's trying to, you know, talk shit about you or whatever. And so um, until you uh, heal from that and tell your, your wounded child that um, no matter where they are, they're still loved by you, okay, you're going to be running into those same problems. You're going to be running into those reenactments of those folks who, who used to talk about you, right? I'm getting that you got this from... Um, all those negative messages you got from your parents, <laughs> you got from people, you know, in your life and, you know, who are very close to you. You're definitely looking for people, uh, looking for your tribe. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting queen of fire. Oh, wow. So you got the queen of fire and the hero. Okay. So, and they're both, uh, upside down. So I'm getting like the queen of fire is someone who is very much into their, uh, their their, their 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 energy, their feminine energy. Okay, so and they know their their feminine energy. They know their power. They know they and when they know their fire, they have that personality, that go getter personality. Like they don't care about. Um, they they will step into their power. They know who they are at the core. They know. Um, they they know when they walk into the room. You see the fire and the passion in their in their whole demeanor, and what I'm getting from this card is that you are to do the same thing. A lot of y'all have not done that because of the fear of what people are saying about you. Okay, and um, it doesn't matter who you are and what gender you are. Uh, what I'm getting from this card is that what y'all have, uh, what you are doing. Um, I'm just saying the fire in your eyes is out. The fire in your eyes are out. Okay? The fire in your eyes is out. That's what I meant to say. Like, this is a time for you to put fire uh, within yourself by loving yourself. Um, and also so you can be the hero. The hero the, the, of, of your own story. Okay? A lot of you have not stepped up as a hero. You're not saving yourself. And I'm just like, um, because you have not seen your inner beauty and your inner strength. You can't step up for yourself. A lot of you have not stepped up for yourself. A lot of you are waiting for someone else or something outside of yourself to um, say that one thing or do that one thing to make you realize that you are the shit. No, like this is an ongoing thing and this is time for you to start um, seeing yourself, seeing your own power, being your own hero because no one else is going to save you um, from yourself, not everyone's going to save. No one's going to save you from your your negative thinking or yourself, your negative self talk. 
that's that's on you that is your journey and your journey alone as hard as it is is very well worth it because then you'll be able to see your power over time you'll start to elevate and grow over time and start to be that visionary that you are meant to be and so you can start um once you start doing that you can start um being the the adult the strong adult who is able to take care of that wounded child okay and also i'm getting the king of water Y'all are not feeling your emotions. A lot of you are not feeling your emotions. A lot of you are not allowing your emotions to um, come through, right? Um, you are to uh, master your emotions, but in order to master your emotions, you are to allow yourself to feel them. If you are anger or angry, be uh, be angry, okay? As long as you're not all out here being violent towards anybody or you're being violent towards yourself, there is no need for you. Or it, I, I shouldn't even say there's no need. It's just not necessary. It isn't necessary for you to hold that stuff in. If you're stressed, say something. If you are um, um, depressed about something, uh, say something. If you're stressed, say something. It doesn't make any sense for you to not you know, let yourself be known because the part of the spiritual journey and part of your personal growth is erasing the tape that tells you um, that feeling anger or feeling any sort of emotion outside of happiness is wrong or low vibrational. That would literally uh, like put you in a position of holding stress and holding emotions in your body. Um, and any emotion um, that goes unexpressed, what ends up happening is that it will manifest into something physical. It will manifest into a heart attack. It will manifest into an ulcer. It will manifest into, you know, um, you uh, gaining weight. Um, there's a lot of people who gain weight because they put so much stress or, you know, inside or they that stress absorbs their body and it has to go somewhere, okay? And and they're wondering why, you know, why is this happening? Why their, why their body has changed as much as it did? Well, it's, it's because it could very well be um, and they kept all that stress inside. People get be getting stress headaches, can't see their when they're blinded. Well, yeah, because you kept all that stuff inside, and now it manifests into a headache that may, um, you know, affect your 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 eyesight. So, stuff like that, okay, that um, that we are to be aware of. You know, light like depression and and mental and mental health issues in the light worker community is very real. It's nothing to pray or pray out of or pray. It's nothing to pray away. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It is what it is. Okay. So, in order for you to feel all your emotions, you are to be aware that your emotions are valid. Your emotions are important, and there is something. This is definitely something that cannot be prayed away and there's no such thing as a low vibrational um energy in regards to you not feeling your emotions your anger is valid your sadness and depression is valid your stress is valid you know even when you feel numb that's valid too you are to be aware of your emotions okay and so i'm just letting you know that the yeah so the words of encouragement for group number two is the child you have the child card please do your inner child work heal that inner child within you heal those different versions of you heal all of that okay or at least do the work um that is do the work necessary to um to tap into that inner child energy and to listen to that inner child because the more you do it the more you realize that you have the power to take that child out of that situation energetically. We all time travel. We all time travel. When we go into the past or the future, that is time traveling, okay? We do it all the time. And we do it, you know, um, whenever we go through some sort of emotion, we, uh, you know, when it comes to any sort of, when we look, uh, let me put it this way, because I'm, I'm seeing you right now becoming wrong. So basically what I'm saying is that uh, we time whenever we go into the past, um, and our mind goes to you know some sort of scenario, 
um, or a, an incident in our life that left an imprint, you know, that is going to affect us. Okay, that's going to affect us. And what I'm saying is that, um, yes, it's very hard, but we don't have to stay there. We don't have to keep our inner child there. We can energetically do the work. We can energetically, energetically go to that place, okay, and take that child out of them, okay? That way they can heal and so can you. This is why we receive this card, all the visionaries, Y'all receive this card. It's time for you to step up and do the, uh, the work necessary group two to step up, okay, and do your own work and do your own inner child work and try and heal from that past. So if you've gone through some sort of um, trauma, you know, uh, any sort of childhood trauma that keeps you from being who you are and stepping to your power so you can, in fact, you know, be there for other people. Um, because if you're there for yourself, you can be there for other people, okay? And actually help them heal as well. A lot of you are meant to um, work with others in order to help them heal from the past. But in order for you to do that, group two, you are to do that for yourself as well. And that means doing some sort of inner child energy work um, so you can heal. So that is all for group number two. If that resonated with you, by all means, let me know in the comments. And now... Let's move on to the last group, group number three. Hey everyone, so now, last but not least, this reading, or pick a card reading is from group number three. So, here we go. All right, so, oh wow, so let's see here. All right, so what we got here for group number three is the prince. So, what we got here is that a lot of you, this is this group here. I don't know why I'm burning so much. A lot of you are stepping into, I have already stepped into your power. A lot of you already know your power. Okay. This is definitely, this also has, uh, even though um, gender um, is, is my, at least with cards, like, energy is genderless, right? What I'm getting from this um, is that this is a male energy. This is definitely a male energy. So this is definitely a, a male or a man or a, someone with a lot of masculine energy, right? You know, um, regardless of, you know, their, you know, regardless of who they are, right? And so what I'm getting is that a lot of y'all you really like, I'm just getting like a lot of you love yourself and you know your power, right? You know that you are, you've already like established that, you know, I know who I am and this is what I am going to be doing, right? This is, you already have a goal, you already have ambition, you already have all kinds of things um, going on for you and like you're like stepping into that role. Um, you're stepping to your role. You're stepping to your role as a, uh, as an individual. And so, at this point, you really don't care about what other people are saying about you. Your archetype is like, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, do me, be me, all day, every day. What to do? Like, do I'm just definitely getting from the prince that you're very, very comfortable in your masculinity. You're very uh, uh, comfortable in your mas uh, in your um, your masculine energy. Right, you hold you hold yourself to a very high standard in regards to how you present yourself, and so I'm just getting a lot of confidence. I feel the confidence coming from that card is because a lot of you have not only did you, you, you've done your work, Group Three. A lot of people in Group Three have done their work. Right, they have they're like healed for the most part. They've been through the trenches. And now this is like the end result, right? So a lot of you um, are very like confident. I'm getting a lot of pe people in group, group, group three, excuse me, you are very confident. Um, you, uh, you look different. You feel different. Um, I'm just getting that a lot of you are just, you've done a lot of work for yourself and now you are who you were supposed to be, right? You're, you're now officially that person. You know whatever you know that person looks like to you 
um, a lot of you are dressed up. A lot of you are very mindful of your physical appearance. A lot of you um, are stars in your own mind, right? Like you, you're stepping into your stardom and you know that you are, um, at this point, I'm getting that a lot of you are have your own businesses now. A lot of you have a successful business. A lot of you are succeeding in your life. A lot of you are like, you have made connections. I'm getting that you're going to be making more connections. Um, you're going to be like shaking hands with a lot of people or giving air hugs or whatnot to people who are in, uh, who are experts in your field or experts in the industry that you are uh, a part of or would like to be a part of. A lot of you, I'm just seeing a lot of, um, I see a lot of traveling for you. I see a lot of, um, I see a lot of positive changes with you. Uh, you're definitely going, I'm just getting, as far as those who are, on, who are in group number three, a lot of you are known in your, in your industry. A lot of you are known already, uh, if you're not already. And so you're basking in the glow of your successes right now because you're in the middle of your, you're in the midst of your success. You're in the, like, it has reached a level where um, you're very well known at this point. So just be aware, congratulations, I'm getting like, congratulations. This is like, again, I'm getting this, this is for a more mature group or people who have been, um, who have been born for this, right? You've been born for this, you worked for it, and now you have it. You started from the bottom and now you are here, right? That's what I'm getting. So I'm just really happy for y'all. I really am like, for real, for real. Like you have grown up. A lot of you have grown up. I'm getting like, <laughs> I'm really am getting 40 on, right? Late 30s, early 40, uh, 830, late 30s, early 40s. Um, I'm just getting like a lot of y'all, y'all have, y'all, y'all came through it, right? So just be aware that, um, that you have come through, like, but also be aware of what I'm also getting too is that, um, you are to not forget where you came from because you're one, um, because you're no, like, even though you have grown and elevated and have become who you really are, um, like, you, the person you were truly, you were truly born to be, there, there's a part of you, um, the spirit is basically saying, do not forget where you came from. Because you're one step away, always remember, you're one step away from being broke, you're one step away from losing everything, you're one step away from losing a friend, you're one step away from being in the three heat. So just be aware that you are, uh, that you're still, even though um, you have grown and elevated, you are, don't forget who, don't forget who supported you, okay? Don't forget who supported you. Don't forget who you are at the core, and don't get caught up in the, in the, in the, in the fame and fortune, okay? Because you're definitely going to be successful. So don't get caught up in the fame and fortune, okay? Um, and don't, don't forget who you who who helped you when you were down and out and broke his hand, right? <laughs> okay. So what I got here is the fool upside down. What I'm getting is that you are not naive. You have grown up. You have you've grown up, and you have no um you you definitely have no problem with um with not fucking with people. You know now like um to watch out for yourself to watch out for yourself, to look out for yourself, to put yourself first and not feel guilty about it, okay? Um, you're not this naive person who is just nice to people. You are definitely at, at a time in your life where you're, I'm just getting like, believe it or not, Capricorn energy. Like your Capricorn or Scorpio energy is coming out when it comes to people. And so you have no problem whatsoever telling folks, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing this right now. I'm not fucking with you right now. I'm not, you're not, there's no fake or phoniness with you at this point. You know what I mean? At this point, you are not um, so nice to people that you're putting yourself in harm's way is what I'm getting. Um, I'm just, and I'm also getting too that um, you're just more mindful of who you care about. Okay. You're more mindful of who you care about. There's going to be people who was, uh, who would consider you, um, There are like, yeah, I'm just getting like you, you, you're not going to care about what people think of you. And that's going to 
put like a sore spot in people's in people's hearts but it's either that um or put yourself in the position of 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 being hurt or being um or being compromised unnecessarily so that is one of the reasons why the spirit is like you know what like let them be in their feelings you don't i'm just getting you don't take things personal right you don't take things personal what people say about you at this point you said you really have this mentality and i love it right i love it you are so dope you're dope group number three i don't know who this is talking about but you are dope as hell the reason why this is is because you at this point you are you have like this don't give a fuck chip in your brain somehow you have like elevated so hard right that you don't care about what people think because by the end of the day you feel like you've been through it already already you've been through it a lot of what those people are saying i don't take personal because it has nothing to do with me right the only people that you really care about are the people in your inner circle and even then you're like you take what they say with a bit of a grain of salt because you, you don't take things personal and they may or may not be overreacting in your mind. That's why you're being told to like to be careful because again, you have elevated so hard that you're not to forget about people's feelings. So be aware of that as well, okay? You're definitely a magician. You're definitely a magician. You manifested harm. You're very magical. No, you're very powerful at this point. And you're only, and not only that, but you're like teaching people uh, on how to be powerful. You're teaching people how to be where you are. Uh, you're teaching people how to love themselves and honor themselves. You're just like, I see you on stage. I see you uh, doing conferences. I see you. Y'all have come a long way. You've come a long way. And you're like, I'm trying not to cry for y'all because um, y'all have been through so much. You have stepped into your higher selves so hard. And y'all, it, it's, it's, I, I feel like, I don't know if I, this speaks so hard to, like, this speaks to me. Like, this speaks to me because I, I am, I feel like this is spirit talking to my higher self basically um and a lot of you have stepped into your higher self as like y'all have been through it y'all literally uh you know y'all at the bottom you are a, a whole different person um i'm just i'm getting that some of y'all some of you like like i said before some of you like i really am getting that uh, when it comes to your gender too when it comes to your gender i'm sorry i'm sorry when it comes to your gender as well, I'm getting that you're very, 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 very comfortable in who you are as far as your gender expression, as far as your um, your 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 sexual orientation, right? Like um, a lot of you, I'm getting that a lot of you are not straight, okay? A lot of people in group three are not straight at all. I'm getting that a lot of you have. Y'all don't care about um, gender norms. Y'all don't care about uh, gender, um, like, um, yeah, like gender binary norms. Y'all don't care about any of that. Like, you you basically ex express that, you know, through, your, like, with your body and also with how you present yourself and how you carry yourself. Like, you're basically the epitome of I can't, allow myself i don't give a fuck about nothing right now i don't give a fuck about anybody right now like as far as what they have to say about me you y'all are like the believe it or not y'all are like the tony stark of the man of, of the woo, woo world like you are the tony stark as far as how you carry yourself you're not like there are times where you will be egomaniacal um but you know what i mean but you have people in your corner that tell you like um you need to like they they keep you humble right but i'm just getting what i love y'all i seriously love you group three like i am getting like um a lot of you are going to be teachers healers wise ones a lot of you are going to be experts in your field of study 
um, whatever this is, um, a lot of you are going to be um, sought after and sought out. Of, of people are going to be, I'm just getting like, you're going to be um, buying, they're going to be buying your books, you're going to be writing books, writing essays, um, doing a lot of speaking engagements. Like, you are going to be a rock star in every way, shape, or form, which is why you're being asked to, to take care of yourself and make sure that you're not just exerting your energy. You know what I mean? I wish I could stay with group three forever. I love you. I, I can sense. Listen, I can sense your power. Um, yeah, like, yeah, I'm just getting y'all, like, y'all have changed somehow. You know, the two of air is like night and day. You're night and day. Y'all have changed significantly. What this card is saying is that a lot of you have, you're very much, for one, you're very much in, in, in tune with your your light and your dark, okay? You and like at, and at one at, y'all are very powerful for one to the point where I can't even speak right now. But basically, what I'm getting is from this card is that on one hand, um, you are very much a light worker. You're very much of love and light. You're very much a person who cares about the human race. You care about the, your alien, uh, your alien people because you're going to be. Believe it or not, you're going to be talking to a lot of star seeds who are aliens because that's another thing, too. You're going to be saying um, there's a lot of things, too, that you are going to be keeping to yourself because you know that humanity is not going to be ready for what you have to say. But you are definitely going to be um, talking about alien energy, talking about how to use that energy. Um, I'm just getting that you are going to be tapped into your own alien energy. So you're going to be uh, like, you're, a lot of you are extraterrestrial, so you're going to be tapped into that. Like, you are definitely going to be, like, one of those people who are going to be, like, on one, like, you look like a human. Um, you're very much a human on the outside, but you already know that you are not human. And so, and you're okay with that, right? You're very much okay with that. Um, a lot of you, but at the same time, you're going to be working with that energy to raise the collective consciousness of the people and help people heal and help people step into their own power. At the same time, no, you you already know that um, you have no problem. You have no you. There's a part of you who you there's a um, not exactly a darkness, but there's like a humanistic element as well. You get angry, okay. You like there's like this 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 duality that you have, okay. You you're very humanistic as well. You have your human elements. You have your temperaments. You have your anger, but you also have your feelings. Okay, your feelings get hurt every once in a while, just like everyone else's. So you present yourself one way, uh, uh, but behind closed doors, you're someone completely different. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Um, because not everyone in the world needs to know who you are. Not everyone in the, in the world needs to know what your temperaments are. Um, so it's just like you, are, you have embraced the fact that you, ha you are a dual person, like you have duality. You're not, and you, um, and you allow yourself to have those dualities without guilt, because you know you're a light worker, but you also know you're humanistic as well. So uh, you step into that, and I and I really love it. And so, as far as what your word word of encouragement is, Group Three, you have the Earth people. You're literally here to tell Earthlings, right, about their power. You're, t you're here to talk about the new earth. You're here to talk about uh, alien energy. You're here to talk about, uh, it would not it would sh shock me at all. Let me back up. It would not shock me at all if you were part of an organization that talked about this. Like an, or an organization that is like um, the Order of the Golden Dawn um, or some sort of organization uh, that uh, allows you to have access to this type of um, this type of information, right? And so, I, I see you becoming part of some sort of organization that's a, or maybe creating an organization uh, of some sort um, that will help elevate this. I'm just, I'm just getting like a lot of old school organizations around. Uh, um, it's kind of like the like, oh the. Order of the Golden Dawn, that type of thing, where you're surrounded by 
um, older people around, but like uh, people uh, like who are elevated as you are, or um, people who are like more academic um, than you may be. Um, but you're definitely part of this, all right? So you're, I just want to let that, I just want to um, do that. But you may have, or or you may have the, or, or your own organization. Either, either way, you're supposed to have an organization uh, some, or be a part of one. An organization is really like a part of your, your life, right? I'm also getting to, you'll be married at this time, all right? A lot of you will be married and have a, a children and have an established life, right? Um, so you'll have an established base, okay? You're not going to be by yourself. I know that. So just keep that in mind as well. Some of you, okay? So what I'm getting is Earth Keeper, you're literally here to tell people about their power. You're literally here to tell people about how they're able to elevate and to be their entire self. There's like no self to hide, no self to be ashamed of. You are here to tell Earthlings that there is nothing wrong with, with who they are. There's nothing wrong with them, okay? You're very charming, by the way. People are just are very much at ease with you. A lot of you are very handsome. A lot of you carry yourself a certain way. I'm seeing a lot of y'all wearing suits. Y'all look so fucking slave in public, right? I'm just, I'm just gonna be real honest with you. A lot of y'all, like, listen, you are going to be um, a beacon of hope and a beacon of truth for a lot of people. And so the Earth Keeper card is basically saying like you um you're you're in the right you're on the right track, you're in the right place, you are going to be a legend in your own right. So I just want to let you know that be ready. Be ready if you're not ready already. Um but you, like, this definitely is um someone um Pile number three is definitely uh, for folks who, especially, might have a masculine energy, especially if you're uh, also getting like a male or a male body individual. You're definitely here uh, doing the uh, doing the good work, and you will be known for doing the good work. Okay, just be aware of that. Ugh. I love y'all already. Um, that spoke to my heart in every way, shape, or form, for real. So there you have it, um, group three. If that resonated with you in any way, shape, or form, by all means, let me know in the comments. I would be more than happy to uh, communicate with y'all because y'all are the shit, for real. Lord Jesus, y'all are the shit. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, anyhow, uh, again, please say so in the comments, or you can hit that subscribe button too, um, just so you would never miss another video. So let's end this right now. There you have it. Um, uh, in regards to the archetype cards, um, I have really, I had a lot of fun doing that. It was, it was a lot, but I really had fun doing it. Uh, if you have much fun as I have, or you resonate with, you know, uh, the, the cards or the messages rather, by all means, let me know in the comments. You can also click that like button. Also subscribe to the channel, hit that bell. So you will never miss another video ever, ever. Right. Um, you can also follow me on, um, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, I'm, tr I'm, I'm definitely going to do a TikTok. That's my quarantine, um, my quarantine challenge is a TikTok video. So, but anyway, um, you can also, anyway, you can visit me or follow me on those, on those particular sites. Um, if you are wanting to have a more in-depth reading, by all means, let me know, um, by, Subscribe, not subscribing, but uh, by going to the bowtiepsychic.com website and booking an appointment, all that information will be in the description. So, thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I will definitely be doing more pick of cards, um, like every week. Um, so this channel is going to be very, very busy. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, peace.